Howdy y'all, it is Topher time. Uh, we are back here with Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom. So uh, we went through the tutorial, kind of the first dungeon. I uh, just got everything set up, but uh, now we're actually gonna dive into um, getting our, our items uh, crafted so that we can sell them in our blacksmith. So uh, let's go ahead and hit continue and let's take a look here, see what we can create. All right, so Let's just like look at our materials here. Okay, looks like a couple things that we can make with the cedar logs. Uh, copper ore turns into copper, so looks like that's about the only thing that we can do with copper ore. So we'll go ahead and convert those. Uh, go ahead and convert. There we go. Our raw cotton there. Looks like we're maxed up on uh, on cotton right now. So, um, and then cotton braid. All right, so let's just take a look here at our weapons, things that we can create. Um, okay, so stone knife. I think we wanna we wanna try to get some high dollar value things in here. So like the broadsword would be a good one to focus on. Um, now the other cool thing is that we can actually use uh, the things that we create uh, in the dungeons. So kind of give us an edge against uh, some of the monsters and stuff there. So. Um, Let's see what all we got. So, right now, really just kind of weapons and armor. So, let's just go through, see what all we got. Okay, so that, I mean, we are just starting, so we don't have a whole lot on here. Um, but it looks like wooden armor uh, and the broadsword are going to be our two biggest things. For my guy, I think we're already using the short sword. I don't know, I'll have to take a look at kind of what everybody's using. Um, let's see here. Okay, so it says zero owned, so um, doesn't seem like I you know, we have anybody using any of these items, so anything we create, we can actually go ahead and equip to our people. Well, actually no, it says equip right there. That would just look. Okay, so, looks like, yeah, so it looks like short, short, short sword uh, is already being used Broadsword is a two-handed sword. Uh, and I believe my guy is actually using a shield as well. Looks like there's two sh uh, shields that are currently being used. So, um, as far as armor goes, looks like everyone's already using um, pretty much all the armor that we can create, except for like wristband and obsidian ring. Um, doesn't give me any details as far as like stats and stuff. Maybe if we hit change info. Okay, here we go. So magic attack, magic defense, luck, uh, attack, okay. Uh, so wristband may be something that we want to create for uh, our attackers uh, with the uh, obsidian ring for our uh, mages. So we can actually go ahead and craft, let's see, do we want to do, okay, let's go ahead and craft two of these because we have two uh, mages. So we'll go ahead and craft those, uh, and then we'll do three of these. Perfect. Uh, as far as weapons go, I don't necessarily want to use a broadsword. Um, let's see, what's the difference? Oh, that attack difference is pretty substantial. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and switch to a broadsword. Um, for... The short spear. Okay, so it looks like, I mean, if you see on the equipment restrictions uh, over there, it uh, looks like the fighter can use the short spear. Um, I'm not sure what that symbol is exactly. Maybe thief? I bet it's thief. So a thief can use the sh uh, cloth lash. All right. Well, let's uh, focus on selling some items here, so um, maybe we'll do some short swords. Yeah, looks like I can make uh, a lot more uh, short swords than I can um, the broadsword. So what all do I need for the short sword? Uh, I already got the copper, uh, just need, so let's see, I can make a maximum of 16, so <clears throat> we'll need 32 cotton braids, so we'll go ahead and craft those. 32, 
Oh, I forgot that it's times two, so it's okay. Looks like we might be able to use those for other things. So we'll go ahead and craft the, just jump over to the max. Boom. All right, so we are out of copper, uh, but that does mean that we can still create some other things here. So let's take a look at armor. Adventurer's hat. I'm just kind of looking at uh, you know what what other things um, they need in order to create, and like some of the items that we got from the monsters, I definitely want to use. Wooden boots. Uh, we got those pelts and cedar board. Thin vine, small scale. I think I want to save the pelts for. Uh, the wooden armor. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Cedar board, but how many do we need for the wooden armor? Uh, three per one. I can make a total of twenty. Um, so we would need a total of sixty cedar boards. It's times two, so I just need to craft thirty of them. So we'll go ahead and do thirty. That'll give us 60 of those, so now let's hop over here to the wooden armor, and we are going to do 20. There we go. Uh, another thing that we want to sell, let's see how much, we still got quite a few uh, cedar uh, logs that we can use. So let's see, what else? This one takes uh, thin vines, so we'll go ahead and get us 13 of those. We'll go ahead and get six of those. Cotton braids. Uh, that one, I believe, uses, yeah, so we'll do seven. Tricorns. We'll just go ahead and do two of those. So, again, just trying to get rid of some of like the. Um, Specific monster items, things that I can't really make the material out of. Uh, and then we might do some cotton robes. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we might make some short spears. Yeah, so we'll do cotton robes and we'll do short spears. So that's cotton and cotton braids. Um, let me go ahead and get those cotton hop over here to the cotton robe all right so I can make a total of 32 so we'll go ahead and do maximum number on those uh, I got six more cotton which I believe what is it uh, it's one cotton turns into two cotton braids So if I turn one, okay, so if I convert two of them, I can make uh, two more cotton robes. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. All right, and then as far as weapons go, we were gonna do the uh, short spear. So I need to get, uh, let's see, I can make a total of 56 of them. Um, I've got, Cedar logs, let's see, it takes two cedar sticks, so we need 112 uh, cedar sticks. Okay, so we're gonna do a maximum of 100 right now. So we'll hop over here to short spear. And let's put that at the max. All right, we got our first proficiency, so it actually adds the skill quick rush. Um, and that's gonna increase the demand as well as the value. Um, and then I can make six more if I can convert. It's perfect. Three more there. And. Oh. I did my math wrong. There we go. Alright, now I should be able to use the rest of my obsidian here. And there we go. Alright, believe that is. 
about all we can do at the moment. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put our display items up here. So we're going to do... We're going to add the short spear at the top. Yeah, we'll go ahead and display right at that. Uh, I don't want to get greedy over here. And I think we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, I like that, uh, that demand right there. Uh, and I forgot to put my full stock on there. Alright, what else do we have? Um, we have our wooden armor that we are going to decrease in price to get a little bit more uh, demand. And remember, demand uh, or the, the the lower price not only affects demand, but it also increases uh, customer satisfaction, uh, which uh, the way they were explaining it seems like it's going to play some sort of role um, in the uh, in the overall, I guess business that I have. So we'll go ahead and put the cotton robe up there and we'll lower that price. We'll add the tricorn on here. What else do we have? Sandals. Last but not least, let's put those adventure shoes up there, and we'll increase that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open up our shop and see what we have. Yes. Alright, time to open up shop and see what sells. Nice. You look at the top right there, and I mean, we actually increased our, uh, our gold pretty well um, by... 3,566, so that's pretty good. And because of that, okay, no, to reach the next shop rank, we have to have 11,000 in sales, 403 in satisfaction, uh, and then do the, uh, the request monster hunting. All right, so we're gonna advance in a day. Beautiful. All right. So brownies are fairies that live in people's houses. Kind of what I had said before uh, in the last episode. And Pitt's going to be able to turn us into a court blacksmith. Lots of practice. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hop out of here. The general flow of the game is as follows. I accept quests from the Adventures Guild uh, to go to, a go to a dungeon, obtain materials, return to the workshop, craft, sell, uh, earn gold, use your income at the item shop to buy materials or books to learn new recipes, increase your sales, and then tavern to increase EXP. Passive skills obtained through training or changing class can be activated. Okay, cool. And we can change our party's formation, but I think we're pretty satisfied with uh, the form. Well, yeah, if I remember correctly, we should be good. All right. Yep, yep, yep. So this is just tutorial about the um, menu. Nope, don't need to read that again. Thank you. All right, so let's head to the tavern. Let's get a good uh, full course meal. And get patronized by a drunk customer, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Gifted Carpenter, Awful Drunk. Perfect. All right. Let's get a nice. That'll be pretty good for when we head into the next dungeon. Got to make sure we're good and healed up. Um, yeah, for nine gold, we'll go ahead and just top him off. Uh, item shop. Let's see. So we got some things there. Oh, you can buy uh, material. Okay, here we go. Beginner tool making. Uh, I know the wooden tableware was something that we needed for one of our requests, so uh, we're going to go ahead and buy that for a thousand. And perfect. Uh, and I'm not too familiar just yet with the rune system, so we're going to stay out of that for right now. Alright. Going back to the Adventurer's Guild. Kristoff, uh, the priest over at the infirmary, was also a childhood friend of Aegon and my father, Ulrich von Lichtenstein, from Gatteland. Alright, so don't mess with Kristoff is the, the gist of that. Alright, so reach suburb level 4, not a problem. Uh, so the large egg we're going to have to get from uh, defeating some monsters, so we're going to have to go and do some grinding there. Same with the beeswax, and then we got to defeat four uh, woodmen. So we'll go ahead and just head on to the dungeon. Yes. Alright, so we're back in the same dungeon that we were earlier. Oh, one thing I did not do, I don't know if it'll let me or not, I don't think I saved any of those items in order to equip them. I didn't, but it's okay. Uh, we got money. Okay, looks like the chests don't reset. So if you remember at level 10, we can actually start uh, getting subclasses, um, which I don't know anything about like what the different subclasses and stuff are, so I'm uh, kind of excited to see what those are and what they'll do for us. I feel like these wolves just take so much to put them down. Nothing that we need just there. So we're really looking to fight the, the bees and the birds. Be able to get uh, the beeswax and the uh, large eggs. But you're going to keep giving me wolves, aren't you? Wolves and fun guys. I'm glad you missed. Dang. Wizards, so squishy. There we go. And moving on. So remember, one of the other um, requests that we got was to reach the suburbs four. So I'm sure we'll be able to, to do that. Hey, more wolves and fun guy. Can I get a bird or a bee? Oh, 
dare you blind me. Alright, now, another cool thing, uh, if you remember, um, you know, we, we increase proficiency as we use the items, and so we already had items, of course, that we were equipped with when we created the characters. Um, so now we are 100% uh, proficient in cotton robe, and it allows us to create velvet robe. Uh, so that's the other good thing about proficiencies, is not only does it give you additional skills, but also opens up the way for new recipes. So, uh, it's another good thing about the grind mechanics of this game. Uh, is that you're actually increasing proficiency as you go. Hey, there's some bees. Surely we'll get some beeswax from these guys. Perfect, we got some beeswax. Alright, so with that we're able to complete a request. Oh, looks like this one... Oh, there we go, we got some woodmen. Beesbucks, we just need birds now in order to get some of the uh, birds' eggs. We got the beeswax. Uh, and then uh, I think that also with the um, with the bird, um, the bird's egg, we have to create the little skillet in order to be able to cook the eggs. chest. What you got? Hey, there's a bird. There it is. Large egg. And we got some proficiencies. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and get this one and we'll move on to the next level of the suburbs. Alright, suburbs three. Don't mind if I do. Alright, we get a preemptive strike here, so we'll just go ahead and run through our attacks here. but I think it'll be okay if Cupcake doesn't die. Ooh, that was close. Should be able to finish him off here, and then we can go ahead and heal up. Nice. Yeah, definitely need to heal. Hang on, I ain't got time for you yet. Alright. Well, need another Woodman.
And we've got more proficiencies. So opens up the ways. Oh, Woodman. Nice, those should be the final two that we need here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's have him use Fire Strike on that one. She'll just attack. She'll use a Fireball on that one. Uh, and the other ones can just attack. There we go. You're out of here. You're out of here. And we can just do regular attacks now. Done. Was that the last that we needed? We completed a request. Terrific. Oh, forgot to get you. I also do love the auto collect where I don't have to like go and pick up the item and everything like that. It just automatically comes to me. Thief. Nice. I don't think they did any damage to us that round. Come on then. Alright, so let's have you focus on that one. Uh, you know what, we'll just focus all of our attacks from the back to the front. I mean, I know the snake can probably do some damage, but um, his is more physical. And I feel like magic just tears us up a lot uh, more than physical attacks do. Alright, cannon leveled up. He's level 4. should be as far as I need to go. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Should report back to the guild later. Alright, so we're in Suburbs 4, so, I mean, might as well go ahead and complete it. Really? One cabbage? Get out of here. a new area, so we should have access to some chests now. Ooh. That shouldn't be too crazy. Dang. everybody off as well just because you never know what's lurking around the corner and the enemy starts I think like, like that's the first like I don't know if it just yeah G lizard I think like that's the first one we've seen this episode this go around in our in the suburbs Get someone to hit the bird. Surely the archer can take it out. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. No, we have been to this area. Yeah, because that guy was guarding a chest, so this is a new area. Oh, so close. Alright, yeah. This should be enough to get everybody to level 4. Everybody else, I should say. 
I'm glad you just decided to blind her. Instead of like... I feel like everyone tries to attack Cupcake. It's like they know she's squishy. Man. I wonder if his increased criticals has to do with him being a thief or if it's because of the extra luck that he has. Either way, uh, I feel like he does a lot of criticals. Alright, yeah, I'll fight you before I leave. Now we're getting, like, all the woodmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Alright, so now... Time to return to town. Let's get healed up before we forget. There we go. And we should be able to turn in some requests. There we go. Nothing out of the ordinary. We'll go ahead and turn in the beeswax. Which, dang, looks like there's like three of them we can already complete. Uh, your contribution to the Holy Order has unlocked the faith blessing of... Noka of the Harvest. I don't know what that means, but we'll take a look at it. Yeah, I already got some fleshy mushrooms. We'll go ahead and accept that, and we'll go ahead and complete it. Mushroom salad. I don't know if I would eat those. Alright, because of the extra monster drops that we have, complete that one. And we can go ahead and complete this one. Perfect. Okay, so there's monster hunting, which was... Um, Learn castle wall formation. So the monster hunting was uh, one of the ones we needed in order to increase our uh, blacksmith rank. So we'll go ahead and accept that. It's from the state. So we need to kill uh, the snakes. Oop. Oh didn't mean to go that fast but it is what it is all right so now in order to complete this one we needed to craft the wooden tableware so let's go ahead and see what we need it's probably under commodities it is it says five did it need five I thought I just needed one uh, we'll go back and take a look at it. Uh, but two cedar boards and one cedar stick. Uh, we should have enough cedar logs to to do that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, no, we need five. So that's what that means. All right, so two cedar boards. So we need ten cedar boards and uh, five cedar sticks. All right, so we'll have to make six here and we can go ahead and make no, we'll have to make six here we have to make two more of the cedar boards that's right so I gotta have ten all right and now we should be able to make all five perfect so now we can complete that um, but before we do we want to go ahead and um, get our shop inventory uh, up and running uh, as well as create some stuff for uh, our guys to actually use this time so let's see velvet robe needs wool and wool yarn I don't think I can make that at the moment so we're not gonna worry about that too much um, sandal copper armor uh, oh well let's see how much copper okay fair amount. And that copper armor does seem to... Oop. There you are. Does seem to want to sell pretty well. 
Uh, but tan leather, I don't, I don't think I have that that I can make. Yeah, not that I, not that I can see. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and convert all of our cotton here. Let's focus on our plus items, so like the short sword would be a good one, so I need, I can make 33 of those, um, yeah, I can make 33 of those, well, yeah, yeah, I can make 33, you know what, you know what, before we do that, yeah, I still have 10, I wonder if we can, yeah, there we go. So we can increase that price to back to 100%. That's good. Back to 100%. There we go. short spears short swords wouldn't hurt to make some more of but I think I want to focus on getting proficient in some other things first um, that way we can kind of open up the gates to more things that we can craft so let's see what am I not using I'm not using the cloth lash anything here Using all of those, uh, not the leather robe or the copper armor. Dang. Magic to create leather sandals? Really? Okay, if you say so. Yeah, I think we're gonna, well, I can only make nine of those anyway. So we'll go ahead and we'll make all nine of those. We might just go ahead and make the broadswords. We might just do that. Let's see. There we go. What about the fur hood? I can't make that. We'll go ahead and make all of those. Wooden Armor Plus. Well, we already have proficiency in that. Alright, so. So, yeah, I think we're gonna do the broadsword. So, I can make uh, 16. So, I need 16 cedar boards. So, let's do right there. Thing that we need to restock, really. I can increase the price on that one again. Increase our stock. Pretty good. Um, all right, we should be able to open up shop. But first, let's go ahead and turn in uh, that request. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and open up the shop then. I 
Alright. Nice. Alright, so we just need to sell an additional, so one more day of uh, op being open for business should take care of the sales, and then we just need to complete monster hunting, so um, we'll go ahead and uh, head to the dungeon, get that completed, and then uh, we'll probably go ahead and leave it there after that. So, let's see, item shop, you got anything new for me? Got some cough drops and blindness powder. No? Okay. Let's go ahead and head to our tavern to get our meal. Very nice. Infirmary. Nice little dialogue between me and Father Kristoff. Enter button gets stuck every now and then. I apologize, guys. There was a new... Oh, counterattack plus 30. And we already have Nolka of the Harvest on Bobby, so... Go ahead and leave that there. Oh, I actually meant to... Just go ahead and get him treated. Perfect. So let's head on to the suburb. Uh, we're just going to really be focusing on, really not, not really doing a whole lot of harvesting. Uh, of course, if it's there, we will, but mainly focusing on just getting those snake kills uh, so we can complete the monster hunting uh, and go from there. Of course, I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to fight anybody else, um, even if they're not the snake, so if we can get those monster items that uh, are needed for some of the crafting. Hang on, hang on, I'll come back to you. All right. Didn't touch me once. Hey, there we go. We got a snake. <clears throat> I believe we had to kill five of them. So this will be number one. Hey, there we go. Ooh, so close. Almost level five. See if we can get another no hitter. Ooh, Cup Katie with the clutch over there, and there we go, level five, halfway to being able to get the uh, subclasses. snake here. There we go. So that is now two down. Cabbage Patch, get out of here. 
All right, three snakes down, one or two more to go, and we got proficiency with the short bow. All right, bird brains and cabbage patch over here. everybody off. Make sure that we're fighting at capacity. Don't need anyone dying. Alright. Another snake. Now, <clears throat> just need one more. Definitely getting a lot easier um, to just regularly attack these guys. Hang on. Alright. Got two bird brains in a cabbage patch. Level. Suburbs 3. Hey, there we go. Final snake. Instead of like just making a beeline for the exit, I think we're gonna go ahead and harvest a little bit more. Just get some more items here. Probably not gonna do a whole lot of fighting. We'll uh we'll spend an episode, I'm sure, of just uh trying to level up our characters while collecting some monster drops at the same time. Right, there's the exit. I believe there was another. Yep, there you are. I don't know what these, like, like why they're depicted as these, these purplish, slimy creatures. I wonder if you actually get to fight one of those. Uh, later on, or if that's just you know what all of the monsters are gonna look like. All right, perfect. So first things first, make sure everybody's healed up. Great. All right, and then we should be able to turn that in. Okay, so we've increased our adventure rank and now we can go to the outer suburbs. Uh, and we can do exploration skip for the suburbs dungeon, which means that um, I'm sure that we can just hit hit one of those and then uh, be able to get you know, a certain amount of material uh, from that. Uh, and we get an arena. So a perfect place to prove your skills and knowledge gained from your adventures. Should You should test your metal. Awesome. All right, we don't have any requests right now. First big request that we've completed, and uh, we're already getting really sure of ourselves. All right, so this is the arena. Okay, it's just for adventures. This is Hannah. 
Okay, we get prizes. Five categories, bronze to platinum, uh, each with two leagues. Each league consists of ten ranks. Each rank is passed by beating its challenge of monsters. Uh, beating each rank grants arena points, which can be exchanged for various prizes. Nice. Uh, you must be rank one of each league uh, and progress through the story uh, to progress to the leagues. You can enter five battles in the arena per day. Oh, even defeats count. Makes sense. Alright. So we are not going to enter the arena just yet. Uh, we are actually going to go over here to the workshop. Just see what we can throw together real quick. Um, let's go to our display items real quick. So we had some broadsword. Um, there we go, we'll display that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do cloth lash. Alright, so. Oh, I forgot to. Put all my stock on there. There we go. So, need to try to refill the sandals, the cotton ropes. We may actually just let those fall off now to think about it. We'll see. Uh, short sword plus, yada yada yada. Alright, we do want to make some more broadswords uh, and cloth lash just to try to um, increase our proficiency there. So, I just need uh, nine cedar boards. So we'll do that. Make all of our broadswords. 100% proficiency there. Cloth lash. We'll go ahead and do that. Almost. All right, and then display items. Uh, let's just see. I don't have any more to add there. No. No, no, we'll do 24 because I remember that I wanted to actually um, equip one of those. Get that price back up and then put all of that on there. Alright, so with that we should be able to uh, get our shop leveled up to rank 2. That should be all we need here. Pretty good day in sales. Alright, got everything completed. Rank up. And we're going to progress to the next day. Alright. Beautiful. So to get to the next rank, 25,000 in sales, 100 uh, 1,000 satisfaction, complete the Black Wolf extermination, and five offering requests. All right, so we got to rank two, we've unlocked the arena, um, got some good cash flow coming in already, so we're going to go ahead and end it there, but uh, as always, uh, if you would like the video, put a, you know, subscribe to the, the channel. Um, I'm going to be putting out some more um, Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom videos uh, shortly, uh, so please stay tuned, and uh, if you like what you see, let me know. Uh, if you want to see some other uh, games played, uh, any suggestions, uh, let me know those uh, in the comments as well. So, thank you guys. Have a good one.